about the explanation of the preposition of. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, before we get into the prepositional material, we will first analyze the grammatical errors in this narrative text. This article was written by one of the 10th grade students at Surabaya High School. So you can pay attention to this sentence. The two kingdoms in of the Jenggala. From this sentence, it can be seen that there are double prepositions, namely the preposition in and of. In this case of this sentence, it can be seen that the writer has difficulty determining which preposition should be used. Is the preposition in or of? Okay guys, before we choose which preposition should be used in the sentence, we will first learn about the use of the preposition of in a sentence. The preposition of is used to indicate possession, to indicate amount or number, and to indicate what something is made from. Okay, I will explain one by one. The first is preposition of is used to indicate possession. Possession to declare ownership. We can use the following two things. The first is using an apostrophe like this. For example, Jen is full. The second is using of, for example, the lack of the chair. Then, what's the difference? Both are equally true, but there is a difference. For apostrophe, is used to show the ownership of people and animals. For example, Mike's phone. Well, this phone belongs to Mike which is a living object or human. Another example is the cat's paw. My father's house is really nice. And the next is of. Of is used to show ownership related to several things, namely for inanimate objects or organizations. For example, the lack of the chair. Now, this chair leads to the lack as an inanimate object. Another example is, the balloon of that clown is colorful. The president of Indonesia, the director of PTABC. And the second is, preposition of is used to indicate an amount or number. The amount referred to here is the number of objects. For example, large amount of milk, a big piece of cake, a hot cup of coffee, small amount of sugar. The following verbs also use of, such as most of, many of, much of, a few of, a little of, one of, two of, three of, both of, several of, some of, any of. A lot of, a number of, a majority of, a minority of, a couple of. However, there are three quantity indicating words that can be used with of and can also not be used. The three words are all, almost, and almost all. For example, all of my friends are nice. All friends are nice. Then, what's the difference? If we talk about quantities specifically about an object, a group, or a particular thing, then we use of. But, if you want to talk about in general, then we don't use of. Other examples are, Most of the students in Jakarta wake up early. Most students wake up early. These two sentences have the same meaning, but are used differently. If we talk about students in a certain area, for example in Jakarta, then we use of. Meanwhile, if we talk about students in general, we don't need to use of. One more example. 
Almost all the trees in my garden are green. Almost all trees are green. Of is used to declare trees in a certain area. While if we mean trees in general, then we don't need to use of. The third is preposition of is used to indicate what something is made of or to say something related to something else. For example, a table of wood. This explains that the table was made of wood. Another example is a crown of gold, a medal of silver, a statue of brass, a house of brick. Do you understand about this? Then what's the answer? Before that, let's discuss at a glance the use of in and of prepositions in a sentence. After that, just identify together which prepositions should be used in the wrong sentence earlier. So, when do we use in? The word in as a time preposition is used to describe the time of month, year, century, season, and a specific period of time. While in the word in as a place preposition is used to describe enclosed areas or closed areas and wider areas such as countries, cities, continents, and etc. Now, for the sentence, the two kingdoms in of the Jingala, it should be the kingdom of Jingala, not the kingdom in Jingala. Why? Because its purpose is to express ownership or possession. That Jingala is a word that describes possession of the kingdom. So, for the preposition in is not used in the context of the sentence. And we have to use of preposition in the sentence. It's easy, isn't it? Okay guys, that's enough for this video. I hope that all of you can enjoy this video and get a lot of knowledge after watching this video. And guys, if you think that this video is very useful, please don't forget to share the link to the other friends. Thank you and see you next time.